came across this idea online. I'm not much of a woodworker, um, and so this seemed like a good idea. I'm going to make a speaker cab, maybe even an amp cabinet, out of a bee box. Now you can buy these online uh, for around about uh, $30 Australian. They come flat pack, um, so four pieces of timber with the mortise and tenon joints, um, not mortise and tenon, what do you call this? Um, uh, it's not a finger joint, it's a mitre joint, that's right. With the mitre joints uh, already cut and um, basically you just bang it together, uh, glue it, I've, I've glued this and um, and Bob's your uncle. There's there's the basis of uh, of a speaker cab. Uh, one of these will take a a 12 inch speaker. Um, downsides are you have these uh, handle cutouts. I think I can live with that. Um, also, they can be a little bit uh, rough when you put them together and require a little bit of filling and sanding. I've gone all the way around this with a router to smooth off uh, the edges. So a little bit of extra work required to, to get it looking nice. And um, the quality does vary from different suppliers. This one is made of very nice uh, straight pine. Um, I'll have another one which I'll show you in a moment which uh, is not as good quality but still quite usable. Okay this is the other one that I got and the uh, the timber is not as good quality. It is still straight though and all the joints work. They're a little bit rough. Um, the timber has a nice grain to it. Something I didn't realize when I ordered was that it comes with a wax finish and um, I've, uh, I've let that dry in the sun and I've sanded most of that back. Uh, I am thinking of uh, doing some sort of treatment on this to bring out the grain. We'll see how that works out. But for 30 bucks and a little bit of extra work, uh, I think... Uh, uh, I'm no good at doing finger joints, so I haven't really investigated that, so it's nice to have somebody do that for you. So there you go, a bee box as uh, the basis for a speaker cab. Okay, so here's something I'm going to try uh, with this project, and it's something that I saw online. Apparently it's a Japanese technique of burning the surface of timber to bring out the grain. So I'm going to use this uh, propane torch with a diffuser and, uh, and just um, burn the surface a little bit uh, to bring out the grain and, uh, and then I'll sand it back. Well, we'll see if I can do this one-handed while filming. Uh, so I think you can see that's uh, darkening things somewhat and uh, Okay, I think that's the uh, the wax finish bubbling away Now you can Roast this as little or as much as you want I think I'd better get back to doing this with two hands and I'll show you the result when I'm finished. Well my wood burning technique uh, is a little bit uh, rough, it's a bit patchy but for a first effort I think that um, gives the, uh, the desired um, 
result. I've sc scraped that with a scraper to get off any excess wax and uh, gone over it with a wire brush. I think the next step will be to go over it with steel wool and metho, try to remove as much as I can of the uh, the wax and then uh, I'll give it a, a go over with some estopol. Well the steel wool scrubbing has uh, removed uh, the wax and, uh, and cleaned up the surface but it's also removed most of the uh, the wood burning effect so my question is do I need to go over it with the torch again I think not I think what I'm probably going to do is just stain it to bring out the uh, the grain I mixed up a very thin mixture of water-based jarra timber stain and just went over that and let it sit for a few minutes and then wiped it over. Could be a little bit darker but I'm pretty happy with that result. Ah oh, well in my haste to uh, get the job done I've skipped ahead a little bit without documenting some of the steps but uh, as you can see we've got pine quad uh, top and bottom and at the sides and the front speaker baffle is screwed in not from the front but from the rear I think that gives a nicer finish from the front uh, the back door which consists of two panels uh, one with the jack connected to the speaker uh, and that leaves an open panel at the back so it's a, a semi open back cabinet so there's the finished cabinet from the back uh, with the two plywood panels in place now I used Uncle Doug's method for applying the grill cloth to the speaker baffle and I must say Uncle Doug does give a very good step-by-step -step, uh, demonstration of how to do the job on his YouTube video and Uncle Doug uh, used a very stiff cloth I've used a vintage cloth which uh, is much more supple and consequently the lines are not as dead straight as I would like but it's basically just going to be the workshop speaker so I'm pretty happy with the final result.